All right, Glover Teixeira has officially retired from the sport. Wow. A hey, big moment. Right, man, what a big moment. And they'll tell you all the time to the point that it gets cliche, and it gets cliche to the point that it's lazy and it's even annoying, which is a guy will get old overnight. But there's a reason that expression has stayed around. There really is, and you can see it, and the fighter is the last to know. They will say that your power is the last thing to go. I don't know for sure that that's true. I know that's an expression that they say. But the first thing to go will be your takedown. In the world of mixed martial arts, the first thing that will go is your takedown. Once you lose the takedown, that is your first step into the realm of retirement. Get into the category of being too old, which, of course, you're talking about speed, you're talking about timing, you're talking about slowing down a little bit. The first thing that will go is your ability to grab somebody else and take them down because of all the things that go into it. All of the setups, all of the time, and all of the maneuvers, all of the practice, all of the precision, all of the cardio, everything that goes into that, when you see that go, when you see a guy getting less takedowns than he's normally used to getting, that is the first step towards the last step. Now, when you have a, a situation like Glover, a very unique guy. I mean, that is a very unique career. 40 years old, he's world champion. 40 years old, he loses a world championship. 40 years old, he reclaims number one contendership. 40 years old, he goes out and fights for a world title in front of his home crowd of Brazil. I mean, it's just very uncommon. I just mean north of 40, but you understand those situations don't generally last, and the guy doesn't generally just hang out there. And how, how much do we want to say, well, well, that was honorable, and that was prideful, and look at how tough he is? Because all of those things are most certainly true, and that's how we want to remember him. But at, at what point do you stop a fight? I mean, that's a fair question as well. Let's either do away with the rule. You can no longer stop a fight. There's no such thing as stopping a fight. Or let's define what needs to happen for a fight to be stopped. And I'm ready to have that conversation, guys. I won't make believe that I have the answer for you. When should you stop a fight? Well, you want to know when? You, you don't stop a fight when your athlete can no longer take any more damage. And that is that is what is unanimously believed. That is believed by the announcers. That is believed by your cornermen. That is believed by the referee. You stop the fight when your fighter cannot take any more damage. I don't agree. You stop the fight when that guy can no longer win. Whenever that is, and as soon as that is, that's when a responsible person stops the fight. And I won't say that the fighter needs to be on the same page as the corner, and the corner needs to be on the same page as the referee. I agree that they can all look at it differently. I agree that the referee can be a little stronger towards what the rule says, which is a little closer towards as long as this guy can still intelligently defend himself. I understand that. But the corner's got to be a little bit closer to, I know my guy, I know what a 10-9 must system is, I know that we're way down, I know things are getting worse, not better, and I have an opportunity to pull him out. All right, guys. Glover had a horrible fight. He had a horrible game plan. Is that true? You think Glover had a horrible game plan? It looked like the game plan was to go out there and get him down. And Glover's got a real key way to do that, which is to get to that single. He gets to a single, but he pulls. He doesn't push. He gets a single, he pulls. He either comes up and comes to the body, or he goes to two legs. But everything starts with getting a hold of that lead leg. It looked like Glover had a hard time getting that lead leg. I mean, I, I will tell you that I didn't think it was a terrible game plan. It was a game plan that didn't work. That I will acknowledge, but I don't know that it was horrible. It looked pretty consistent with things that I've seen Glover doing in the past. 